Hey guys, today let's talk water jet CNC cutting and porcelain. Let's do it. A water jet CNC uses a pump to maintain a 55 to 100,000 psi of pressure. So how it works is that there's always a separate pump that builds up the pressure. Um, the Technic system has a quantum servo pump. And what the quantum servo pump does is it only requires one amp to maintain a pressure of up to 100,000 psi while cutting and maintaining that pressure. It is the most advanced uh, quantum system or servo pump system in the market. Waterjet CNC cutting is the most advanced and unique and modern way of manufacturing porcelain bench tops or in the matter of any surface bench top, could be marble, granite, engineered stone. Uh, what we use is a is a Techni CNC uh, water jet. Uh, Techni is a Camberfield, an Australian owned company um, that uh, combines their knowledge and their experience with a company called GMM. Uh, they are the world's leading uh, water jet and CNC and stone manufacturing machinery in the world. So what we've got here is a, a porcelain Calcutta slab. It's called our Dama. So it's calibrating the, uh, the height and the width of the slab and, and we'll soon start cutting. So what we've got is a uh, LT55 laser template here and we can see all the individual pieces that's required for this job. The cutout, we've even got the tap cutout there, or I should say the filtered water tap, filtered water cutout. And you can see the off squares on the wall. Okay. So that's off our laser templating work. And this is the kitchen here. So there's a nice waterfall going in. And that's our laser. Uh, LT55 in the 3D. Um, these beautiful tiles are being kept by the client and that's why we've scribed the walls and it's cutting to every single tile. So that's the software of the laser. I think, I think it's modified slightly for a slab optimization on this system here. basically hit a button and let's watch it cut. Uh, so water jet manufacturing, laser templating gives us the ability to really do anything we want. You can have the most off square walls, you could have the most unique tiles, uh, you could have the, the strangest design of, on a bench top. Once we start templating, creating that digital template, uh, and we can template literally anything, uh, our water jet machine really backs us up with our words in, in giving you the confidence in us being able to produce, measure, manufacture and install to any shape and to any kind of bench shop. And look, we learn new things every day. I've been doing this for a very long time. Again, I can come across situations that I really haven't seen before. But the improvising part of what I do and being able to measure to any shape, to any form, and having the backup of this machine to be able to produce without a single blade on, on, on the entire job uh, really gives me the confidence in backing my word to give you the confidence that you're in good hands. What we've got here is a, another porcelain slab, porcelain job. You can see how we can cut to the shape of what we've got here. Because of the uh, water jet CNC system and the laser templating system as well. So all these angles on this job, you can see that comes back around. That's not square. That's not parallel to that edge there. But the lasers measured everything, even to that point. They're going to check out right on that point. This is an undermount, a beautiful undermount cutout on the porcelain. It's all been pre-done, on the frame, ready to jib up onto the truck and get installed.
Now let's have a look at the uh, scribed wall, guys. So you see that is not straight, okay? Porcelain is the most advanced surface with its 100% scratch proof, 100% stain proof, 100% heat proof, uh, UV proof, warp proof. Uh, it is the most advanced surface. For example, you'll see porcelain tiles on the floor and not engineered stone tiles on the floor for a particular reason. But let's do a permanent market test. We've just got uh, Digger's surface cleaner. I write my name. Just grab it. Done this a few times. At home, it'll just be wet towel. Even a wet paper towel will do it. And it's gone. Follow me, we'll do it on my main bench as well. So here we've got a dumb out of gloss. And I'm happy for you to come in with your own permanent marker, guys. Come in with your own spray and wipes and whatever else. I've just forgotten my spray. Hang on, that doesn't look like an L. Yeah, it's a bit better. Let's spray. Gone. And that's the beauty of porcelain. Let's go back and have a look at this uh, piece that was a light. Amazing. Good. Amazing colours in the porcelain as well. The beauty of porcelain, the way it's made with a pigmenting process in a laminar machine, is that they get the patterns perfect. The colours are very consistent. There's never a variation in, in the tones, in the slabs. It's always perfect. Some of our <coughs> Calcutta slabs, we've got the damad in the mat, damad in the gloss. The gloss was the one we just marked before. Brilliant slabs. That's the one that was laying on the table outside a moment ago. Um, some more Calcutta's. We've got a beautiful sort of that, that timber grain sort of finish. We've got a sandy sort of colour in our sandstone. Earl Grey is a very unique, very nice grey that goes with your off-whites, your sharp whites, your timbers, your whites, your blacks, everything. It's an all-rounder colour. When I'm sure, go Earl Grey. That's what I usually say. Ash is a very soft grey. Concrete is a very realistic and a really nice colour. Carve is a very silky sort of finish. Jurassic, unique with its real crisp, crisp white veins in it. Beton is a real grey in a green grey, but a nice swirly sort of finish. Asphalt, that real charcoaly sort of grey, flecky, full body. Any of the flecky porcelain is full body. Rust is a really unique, sort of that real rustic sort of feel um, and see ya in our black. So, to recap, United Stone Melbourne does recommend porcelain bench tops. Porcelain is the future of bench top material. Uh, you can't burn it, you can't damage it, you can put bleach on there, white king on there for hours and hours and leave it and wipe it straight off, it doesn't deteriorate the surface. It's not like engineered stone, it's non-warping. So what it also means is if you've got joins in your kitchen 
the joints aren't going to deteriorate because it's any new stone or any quartz based stone will expand and contract. So what that does is on your two part epoxy or your seams with a hot and cold expansion it can deteriorate, constantly deteriorate your joints. Whereas with porcelain because there's no hot and cold expansion it doesn't deteriorate the joints. Uh, thermal shock, so it doesn't crack. Uh, the, there's nothing you can do to thermally shock the material. You can go from freezing uh, negative minus 10 degrees to 1200 degrees instantaneously and not damage the surface. You can't mark it, you can't scratch it, you can't stain it, no maintenance. It's toughened, it's a fired clay. With pigments, the pigments are all done on a laminar machine, it's perfected every single time low silica, it's not going to be a banned product, it's going to be the future of bench tops. it is the future of bench tops. and highly, comes highly recommended by United Sun Melbourne. So that's a bit about porcelain and waters you're cutting from today. Thanks for watching.